Hey, I'm Billy Ruff. My name's Arcana. We're on the illustrious second location for the apocalyptic cowgirls, the sequel. Post-apocalyptic. <laughs> After the apocalypse, everyone's queer. <laughs> it's required. And this is your first pawn, Bill Ruff? This is my first pawn, yes. Can you say a little bit more about that? Um, yeah, I have uh, been into BDSM and kink for a really long time and I've shot other films that were post-apocalyptic but I've never combined the two genres so <laughs> it's really exciting to um, shoot, you know, a post-apocalyptic porn and mostly because I really love urban exploring and I love abandoned spaces and it's really exciting to be able to shoot in the locations that we've been able to shoot in. You think the place uh, suits the erotic ambience here? I think if, if it's played correctly, sure. Okay. I think, I think you could make a lot of things here. Why? Uh, it's really striking uh, objects that you don't usually get to stand close to, don't usually see, and there's a lot of uh, trips about the military, about uh, industrial salvage. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of photographers and artists come out here and we get to talk a lot about this. It's very attractive for a lot of different reasons. And of, and of course it works for erotica. Of course. It's one of those so wrong that it's right sort of compositions in my mind. Um, yeah, it's, it's my first porn as well. Um, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> this is so much fun. I haven't had this much fun in months. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like the processes went really well for me because I'm close with all the actors. Um, Surgeon and Billy are my housemates and we're all, we're family and um, we had a lot of time to collaborate and working with Maria and Nicole and now Sophia has been amazing, really positive. Um, this is easily my favorite space in Tucson. It's so, it's so beautiful here and um, my ass really hurts. I kind of wish I had one of those rubber donuts <laughs> <laughs> to sit on. I can, ha I can have you do the fence. Is that too cliche? No, do it's fence? so hot. It's not too cliche. I just want to slap around uh, Billy a little bit. Uh, I am Sophia St. James, and I am uh, here for Post Apocalyptic Cowgirls 2. Uh, my character is that I am basically looking for bits and pieces for my broke down motorcycle, and I. Uh, come across the lovely surgeon and um, more like she comes across me and um, I'm intruding on her on her land <sighs> have a little something for all of us Sexually, I enjoy, um, I'm a switch by nature, so I enjoy um, topping, I enjoy topping from the bottom, <laughs> and uh, I'm really into like the power play. It's, it's nice to find someone else who is a switch who can go back and forth like that, and that's like my character here in the movie. Um, I am not a top, nor am I a bottom, I'm a switch, and when I come in and I find surgeon, surgeon finds me. There is some power play, there's some struggle going on because um, that's, that's my nature. And uh, that's what I enjoy, I enjoy the rough sex. I'm into like fetish, BDSM, kink quite a bit. And um, I what, like what is pink? Kink. Kink, oh yeah. Yeah, kink. And um, I enjoy, and so I, I like to take when I, when I do porn, I like to take parts of my real life and incorporate it because it's more real, it's more fun, and I feel like the audience watching it will, will be able to see that. Are you okay? <laughs> do you want to see? 
<laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm okay, I mean. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I think a tattered and bruised ass is the best kind of ass. Yeah. I feel great about it. I feel like the type of film that this is um, really appeals to a wider audience. Um, people's body types are different. People's race identities and ethnic backgrounds are different. Um, gender aspects are... I really like the way that that's being portrayed and that there's a gender fucking quality here and the things that we're doing around that the things that we're doing with Cox and with people's bodies. I guess I'm being really vague here, but if you're watching this, you're going to see the film and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> so I don't have to give you a play-by-play, -play, but good plug. Um, yeah, it's today I feel a lot stronger about than yesterday. We were really cold and I was covered in piss a lot, so it was a little bit harder to let things flow, but um, I feel great. I feel really comfortable and I feel, yeah, I'm ecstatic about the whole process actually is going amazingly. I'm just curious if it's the same in France or, or probably different in France than here with the language. The word fetish here is often misconstrued and often simplified it seems and taken in a post-Freudian sense rather than a pre-Freudian sense or no knowledge of the pre-Freudian sense. If you say fetish here people go ooh fetish without without knowing having any knowledge of of what a fetish used to be before Freud, a fetish was like a magical object that 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 somebody that did curing would use, and I, I'm just I'm still fascinated with that. I don't have that figured out. I just know that I do fetishize a lot of various objects. So you're very attached to all of these fetish objects here. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Can you show this, this is, little? This is a this is a chair. Uh, is the, the lamp's not in the way? Can you see it around the lamp? Uh, it's fine. This is a, a ejection seat from a 1950s uh, uh, English airplane, actually called a Canberra. And uh, I made a rocking chair out of it, and I'm still working on the rocking chair. It will have uh, five-point restraints, and hopefully <clears throat> we'll be able to engineer it so not only can we rock it, but we can also roll it. Okay. I am from Portland, Oregon. Um, it's a pretty queer scene. It's I, I love it up there because it's like a family-oriented community. Um, very sex positive, very queer positive. There's lots of queer establishments. We have the only um, feminist nonprofit bookstore, and they do a lot of queer events there. I actually um, promote and produce events uh, there as well. And um, what kind of events? Um, events uh, like sex positive, queer positive. Um, I have a company, Savory Pink Productions, and we do three different uh, events. One is a queer play party, queer play sex party called Love Hurts, and another one is Portland Queer Porn Nights, where we show various queer indie feminist porn. And then another one is called Queer Cornucopia, which is a dance party that takes place every three to five months. And that's a fundraiser for other sex positive, queer positive organizations um, across the nation. And you two are a couple, so how does it feel to shoot together when you're a couple? It's like getting paid to fuck my boyfriend. <laughs> you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's good. I mean, I think with someone that you're intimate with for 
frequently, it's a lot easier to get into that place and to forget about the camera. Um, I think one of the reasons I'm really enjoying this film is that I feel very safe and very close and very intimate with most of the people that we're shooting with. And um, it's just really nice because it's a safe space and it allows people to be creative and express themselves and to not feel fettered or in any way. Um, it just it, it allows people a space to, to be exactly as they wish. And I think the creative license we had to write most of the plot line was really great because we could create scenarios which we genuinely find to be really fucking hot. And how did you meet Maria Betty, the director of the movie? Oh man, I, um, <laughs> when I first wanted, started in uh, queer porn, I, I knew I wanted to do it. I just kind of did some research online and I found um, Blue Productions website and I took a chance and I, I sent her an email, I sent her some photos and said I would love to uh, work with you. And um, she emailed me back and said, yeah, that would be great. And so. I, uh, that's how I got connected with her, and it turns out that a lot of the people that I worked with before know Maria's and absolutely adore her, so it was awesome.